Hey, this is Open Mailbox. Today we're going to look at creating a Rust mod that spawns items into the game. Uh, we're going to create a mod that allows a player to type a gift command to uh, spawn a random present at their location. And we're, we're going to put a timer on it so that they can only do it uh, once every so often. So let's get started. have my basic mod set up here. Um, if you're not familiar with how we got to this point, uh, check out the previous videos in the series. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a couple constants that we're going to need, right? The first one that we're going to call allowed interval seconds. And this is just the amount of time that a player is going to have to wait uh, in between being able to spawn a present. And we can make this anything, but for right now, since we want to be able to just test it and type it a few times, we're just going to make it 10 seconds. So the second constant we need is just a reference to the uh, prefab file location for the item that we're going to spawn into the game. So two new things here. First, uh, what is a constant? Um, this keyword right here. A constant is a uh, class accessible variable um, that gets initialized the first time at compile time and will never be changed again. So we're saying I want an integer that's called allowed interval seconds. It's going to be equal to 10 and I'm setting it here and it will never change. The other new thing here is the concept of a prefab. Uh, in Unity, a prefab is like a blueprint. So if I have an item that I want to create in the game, there's probably a blueprint for that item. Uh, and we refer to the, the blueprints are referred to as prefabs. So I know um, that there is a, a file in this location called giftbox underscore loot dot prefab. And that's the item we want. Um, as far as how did we, how do I know that this, this prefab exists? How do I know that this is the path of that file? Um, that's, um, we're, we're not gonna, we're gonna skip over that for right now. We'll cover that maybe in a future video about how to discover what prefabs are available, uh, to use inside of mods. So the other, uh, thing we're going to set up first here is a instance variable. It's going to be a dictionary where the key is a string and the value is a date time. We're going to call this spawn time. So we used an instance variable in the last video to uh, to make our teleportation mod to our player home mod. Uh, same same idea here. The only difference is the value type is going to be a date time. Um, uh, just a, a point in time. Uh, if you were to look at your clock, uh, whatever time it is right now, that's an instance of a date time. So the only command that's going to be part of this mod is going to be, uh, we're going to call this gift. So let's make a function called command gift. Again, this is just the basics of how do we how do you set up a command the, the in the game will be able to type slash gift to run this command. Um, if you are not quite familiar with how uh, with a command or making a command in Rust, um, check out the previous video. From here, uh, let's start pretty basic. So we're gonna we're we're not even gonna worry about the time right now. Okay, we're just gonna start very simple. Every time the player types slash gift, we're going to spawn a new present at the player's location. First thing we need to know is where are we going to put this thing? We're going to make a new uh, variable in here, spawn position. It's going to be a three-dimensional vector uh, with the player's current, current position, X, Y, and Z, except for, for the fact that we're going to offset the X a little bit uh, just so the, so the object appears in front of the player. So vector three, vector three is a unity type that describes a three-dimensional point in space. If you watched the last video, you, you uh, would remember that I mentioned uh, that oxide framework provides us with a generic position type so that we don't necessarily have to reference uh, unity specific data types. Uh, in this case, the function that we're going to call to create the object uh, actually needs an instance of a vector three. So that's why we're using that data type here. So this is where we will actually create the item. And we call game manager dot server dot create entity. We pass in the uh, reference, the string to the prefab that we're going to create an instance of and then the position where we want to create it. And then the only other thing we need to do is call entity.spawn. And uh, let's also show a little message here, just so we can see in the console, in the logs rather, that the uh, that a player spawned an item. Um, that should be all we need. So let's copy that over into our server. So now we can type gift and there's our gift spawned into the game 
poke it a few times to open it up and we get a couple presents out of it. The next thing we, uh, that we want to do is add a timer to this. So we only want a player to be able to spawn um, a new gift every 10 seconds using this constant that we had declared up here. Before we actually spawn the present, we're going to add a new conditional here. Uh, we're just going to check to see if we already have a reference to a time when this particular player created a gift. If we did, we're going to do some stuff. If not, then we don't care and we can immediately spawn a present, right? So the other thing we need to do here is we uh, need to make sure that we actually record the time when the player spawns the present. Uh, we're going to set a key in our dictionary uh, with the player ID. We're going to set it to whatever the current time is. Daytime is a C-sharp class, not uh, specific to Unity or Oxide, but the entire C-sharp language. Now you can look it up and, and see what all different methods that you can call on it. So now, so now that we have a time, we know that uh, there is a key in here for this player. Uh, so let's pull that out. We have the last gift time. When was the time that this player created a gift? And then we, what we actually want to know is how many seconds uh, has it been since that happened? So to do that, we're going to do a little math on our timestamp. So in this case, I want to know how many seconds has it been since the player typed the command. And I can subtract two timestamps, uh, which gives me this specific type called a time span. And then I, I can call this seconds attribute on that object. So if it's, if it's been less than 10 seconds since the player has typed the command, I don't want to allow them to do it again. So we'll send them just a message here telling them they have to wait however many, however many more seconds, and then we immediately return. And that should be all we need to do. Let's copy this over into our server. And now in the game, there's our box. If I try to type it again too fast, tells me how many more seconds I have left. For it'll let me spawn another one. And that's all there is to it. So we created a new plugin that just randomly spawns a present at the player's location and allows them to type the command every 10 seconds. If you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. If you have questions, I do try to respond to the comments on the video. Otherwise, I'm always available in Discord. Check the links below the video. And I do stream. I do tend to stream on Twitch at least a few times a week, doing some kind of coding or software development, game development, all that kind of stuff. And if you're trying to figure out how to do specific things with mods, uh, let me know, and I'll try to keep it in mind for the future. Thanks.